Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Update. Today is National Morning Show Host Day, so make sure to send us your favorite morning show hosts. Hey, Theo, do you have a favorite host? Oh, boy, I sure do. It's Al Roker. Are you kidding me? I'm right here. Let's get on to today's announcements. It is the spookiest time of the year. It is Boo Bag Time. The third annual Boo Bag Fundraiser will take place during A&B Lund from Monday, September 30th to Friday, October 11th. For just $3, you can boo your friends, yourself, or staff by sending them a bag of treats during M Block on Halloween. All proceeds support the peer leading program, so make sure to boo everyone you know to make Halloween a fun day. If you have any questions or would like to purchase any boo bags outside of lunch, be sure to see Mr. Kelson in room H2220. For anyone who is interested in participating in Girls for Girls, the application deadline is today at 7 p.m. Time is running out, so please make sure to get those applications in. If you have any questions, please contact Don Seymour at dseymour at tritowncouncil.org. Attention all juniors, you will be taking the all-new digital PSAT on Wednesday, October 16th, which will be here before you guys know it. This practice version of the SAT exam is now digital. It's easier to take, shorter, has more time per question, and even comes with a built-in calculator. It can also qualify you for the National Mer Merit Scholarship and other scholarships. Juniors, you are already automatically registered for free. Please check your emails for a study guide and further details. Hi, my name is Abby, and welcome to my newest segment on the Morning Update Company Casting. Here I will interview the cast from the theater company's production of The Addams Family. Today I'm here with one of our leads, Jake Licata. Hello. So Jake, who do you play in The Addams Family? I play Gomez Adams. Who is Gomez? Gomez is the father of the family and he takes care of everything. So we're about four weeks into the rehearsal process, so what's been your favorite part so far? My favorite part has probably have to be full disclosure. I love full disclosure. What's your favorite line from Full Disclosure? My favorite line from Full Disclosure would have to be just imagine being married to him. It's such an insult to Mal. What are you most looking forward to for the performance? I thought about it a lot and I'm so excited for my costume. I love the Gomez costume, but the director said he's going to middle parts my hair. And what do you got there? My saber. Saber? I used the fence lurch. It's a nice looking saber. I use it the first half of the act. Well, thank you for being here today. Of course. When is the Adams Family? It is November 1st and 2nd, the Friday and Saturday. You must come see it. You must. Tune in next week when I interview more of the cast of the Adams Family. Thank you. Are you looking for volunteer opportunities? Consider joining the Tri Town Council Virtual Tutor Program. Tutors will receive training earn the satisfaction of helping others succeed academically, and last but not least, gain community service hours on your own schedule from the comfort of your home. Scan the QR code or contact dcmore at tritowncouncil.org for more information. Join Photo Voice for, for an opportunity to get creative and explore using photography and media arts. Grades 7 through 12 are able to apply and no experience is necessary. This is also a great opportunity to collect those community service hours. Email Bonnie at bthurnborough at tritownconsult.org to learn more. You want to be a bigger part of Relay for Life? The event leadership committee team is starting bi-weekly meetings every Tuesday from 7 to 7.45. Please apply on October 12th by scanning the QR code below. Thank you. Masco, we're here with Jack Fabiano, big winner of here at 31-6. Skill football stays undefeated. Fobs, three touchdowns, over 150 yards. Player of the game. <laughs> put the hat yeah. on, I'll put the hat on. How you feeling after this game? It's great, dude. I mean, line was making holes. Automatic five yards every handoff. And yeah, look at it. 31 to 6. So Gary for win Flawless, baby. Community service hours by becoming a Horizons assistant. Horizons is an after-school enrichment program for elementary students in the Tri-Towns. These classes include things like cooking, chess, and exploring the outdoors. 
Most classes begin mid-October and run from 3.30 to 4.30 for six to eight weeks. If you're interested, contact Ms. Shaw at tritowncouncil.org. Attention sophomores, if you had Ms. Finnegan for English last year and created a binder or scrapbook for the final portfolio project, please stop by Ms. Finnegan's room as soon as possible to pick up yours. Thank you. Have you ever wanted to be a DJ? Have you ever wanted to have your own talk show with your friends? Join radio with weekly shifts from 3 to 5 and popular events such as Battle of the Bands and many more soon to come. Send an email to the station manager and the advisor listed here somewhere on the screen. Thanks for tuning in. WBMT 88.3. Welcome back, everyone, to the Masco Sports Update. You're here with Sam and Dan, and wasn't it an awesome week in sports once again? Great week. You know, it started off with a good, nice two field hockey wins. Uh, first Beverly and Swamscott. And then girls soccer comes in with a huge win this past Saturday against Bishop Fiend, putting them in the top ranks of the state. And they also took down Marblehead on Wednesday. Huge win there. And what else we got? Friday night. Uh, Friday night, you know, there's a, there's a big volleyball game at home for Essex Tech. Everyone be there. Or you could go to the soccer game. It's senior night for the boys, and they got a huge game against Gloucester. There's also a football game later that night at 6.30. So, Masco, come support your athletes. It's been a great week. It's been a great week. Thank you for listening to the Masco Sports Update. All right, my name is Charlie. I'm with Nino and Cash, fo Masco Boys football captains. And, you know, how do you feel about the game you played against Revere last week? Uh, you know, the boys felt great. We, uh, we came in with an attitude. We know we had to get the job done. We were looking to go 3-0, and that's exactly what we did. And uh, really all it was was just aggression, and everyone played their assignments, and we were able to get the job done. Huge win for the boys. And Cash, how has the Masco boys team changed since, since last year to this year? There's definitely a closer and stronger culture and camaraderie amongst the players and better connection with the coaches, I would say. I mean, we got coaches who are just giving all their free time to this team just to make us boys play better, and we just get the job done on the field, and it's it's all working out. That's great. Got a game tonight, blackout, everyone be there. Seniors, we are back with another update for all of you regarding college visits to Masco. Remember to attend these visits. You need to register in advance through your Naviance student account under Colleges, then College Visits tab. Although we only have 15 colleges this week, still keep an ear out in case any of them are of any interest to you. Starting Monday, September 30th, we will have Tufts University, Regis College, and Emerson College on campus. On Tuesday, we will have Plymouth State University, the University of Maine at Farmington, Fitchburg State University, and the University of Rhode Island. There will not be any college visits on Wednesday, but that's okay because Thursday we have Connecticut College, the George Washington University, the College of Charleston, and the University of Hartford stopping by. Finally, on Friday, we will have Champlain College, Sacred Heart University, Massachusetts Maritime Academy and the University of Rochester on campus. Remember to report to school counseling office for all college visits. And please don't be afraid to reach out to Ms. Delfano if you have any questions. All right, seniors, that's all I've got for you this week. Make sure to check in next week to see what colleges will be on campus. Good luck. Well, that's all for the morning update. Today is also World Tourism Day, so book a flight, get on a plane, and don't think about it too much. Well, that's it for us. Have a great weekend.